Now from downtown Cleveland, MLB Network brings you baseball from Progressive Field. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the National League All-Stars and the American League All-Stars. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? Matty, I know this team can swing the bat. But one thing I'm focused on, and I think a huge key for this team, is base running. And I'm not necessarily saying stolen bases. Just being aggressive on the base pass, putting the defense on their heels, taking the extra base. Maybe that send from first to home. That's what I'm hoping to see. All right. The stage is set. The starters get their final tosses in out in the bullpen, and we've got a good one in store for you, folks. Play-by-play -play is coming up next. Getting close to first pitch here. Let's listen in to public address announcer Alex Miniak. And now, your 2019 American League All Star. Briefly now, we'll look at the two men named by their managers to get the ball here to begin this All-Star game. Chris Sale, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. Dan, any thoughts? Thanks, Matt. Chris Sale, you're talking about one of the premier pitchers in the game of baseball. Big fastball, 95 to 98 miles an hour. Wipeout slider, great comparison. He's the closest thing we've seen to Randy Johnson. A nightmare against lefties. Three-pitch guy, fastball, slider, and a changeup that's getting better all the time. He is a definition of a true ace. All right, let's check out the American League All-Stars on defense. And let's focus our attention on first baseman Jose Abreu. We know the bat plays, the ability to drive the ball out opposite field, no problem. But I don't think people realize how soft this guy's Leading hands off, are at first base, for the constantly League. bailing his other right infielders field. out. Here's Nick, Nick Markakis now, the Markakis. right fielder. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Hey. And afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. First pitch, 1 o'clock. And 1-1 one and one as this one's in on the hands. Great afternoon for baseball here. 71 degrees, the temperature at first pitch. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Fastball is outside and it's full now three and two. Nolan Arenado will be next. Line toward right center. Trout is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. That and with that, here's Love a look that. at the visitor's Colorado starting Rocky. lineup. What's going to be the, the key thing. for him today, Mark? Matty, you focus on this lineup. The middle of the order jumps out at you because of the big power. But my focus today is on the table setters. The guys that set the tone. They have to be willing to work the count and find ways to get on base and create a little bit of havoc on the defense. Here's Nolan Arenado.
He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that misses ball one. And there are the umpires working this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Patrick Johnson. You know, D-Roll, Patty Johnson, you know, decent strike zone, but isn't always super consistent. I think that's one of the things that irritates players and pitchers. Yeah, you're going to see a few glares, not only from the offensive guys, but maybe the guy on the mound as well. He needs to be a little bit more consistent. The 1-1. One, one. Misses for that's the it. second ball. Two balls, two strikes to Nolan Arenado. <laughs> and that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Full count still. He's off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. And I'm sure the manager is just fine Batting with that. Third. I mean, it's better Rub to battle a slaughter like Delphi that to the Billy. end and end up walking him the than serving on up where right. he can really hurt you. Harper. So stepping in, Bryce Harper. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. First pitch of the at bat. Nope. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Arenado, base runner at first with one out. Ah. A ball and a strike. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Hoping to send him packing pitch on its way and the slider gets him swinging two gone. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location Batting was four. excellent because if it's one play, St. Louis there's a good Cardinals. chance it's on the ground the for a double hitter. play. And hey, a strikeout All always works Goldsmith. too. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Two balls and no strikes. He's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone. It's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations. He's got to figure it out pretty quick. Two balls and a strike to count. Two out base runner aboard in the top of the first. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. Swing and a miss and that ends the inning. No hits, no errors, and one man left on. It's the National League nothing. American leaguers coming to bat. You're watching the Major League Baseball All-Star Game exclusively on MLB Network.
Max Scherzer, the Missouri-born right-hander, gets the job of starting pitcher here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Max Scherzer. Hello, Chief. It's Max, and it's not age at 99. This is one of the best pitchers in the game of baseball. Upper to mid 90s fastball, powerhouse slider, and a great changeup. If he brings his A game, it's lights out for the opposing team. All right, so here's how the National League All Stars line up on D. Hey, let's focus on Freddie Freeman, first baseman for the Atlanta Braves. He plays one of the most reliable first basemen in the game, makes the routine play. Not only that, he can pick and grin, saving his infielder some serious errors. Here's Mookie Betts. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the American League, the left fielder, Mookie Betts. First pitch coming, here it is. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, a 1 0. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 0 now. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Back goes Harper to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. A chance now to take a Batting look at how second. the home team lines Rob up in this one. Mark DeRosa, tell us about this lineup in a baseman. daytime home, home contest. Day. Well, Matt, the key for me to success for this lineup is they got to be willing to come through in big spots. They got to stick to the game plan. Somebody's going to have to get a knock with two outs and find a way to not leave base runner stranded. At the plate, Jose Altuve. He took home the Silver Slugger Award in the American League a year ago. Here's the first pitch to him. Not his best effort that time. It's strike one. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. You know, if I'm the hitter right here, I'm like, okay. You want to come get some early in the count? I was about to wait you out, but now game on. The wind-up and the 0-2 pitch. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. And he chased it in the dirt. Contreras recovers. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Batting third. Into the From box the now. Los Angeles Angels. First cuts for him here with the, the bases fielder. open. And two away. Mike. Wow. First offering on its way. Off speed pitch oh, in the dirt play. as he takes it for a ball. Counts Three even rounds. to Trout one and one. And his pitcher's feeling the flow right now. Two outs in the first inning. He's got really nice mechanics working right now and blew that fastball right by him. The one one home. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. I'd be shocked if you saw anything else but a fastball right here. He's blown those first two by him. Don't give this guy a chance to speed up his bat with something off speed. Two out, nobody on. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. An inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on MLB Network. Baseman Freddie Freeman, lifetime against Leading Chris Sale. He's gone two for fight. six. He's the taken him deep once. Number five, Freddie Freeman. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone.
into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. No, he couldn't catch up with the gas that time. The one two high chopper to third throw to first will be in time and there's one gone here to start the second and let's that check out the American League All Stars on defense and let's focus on Wilson Ramos he's an absolute brick wall behind the plate and if you miss middle over the heart of the plate he could turn around with a three run bomb. So one away here with the bases empty and coming up the still dangerous outfielder Matt Kemp. First pitch on its way. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Fastball and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour a ball and a strike. A nice adjustment right there for him to get on top of that baseball and drive it to the corner. The first pitch he obviously tried to overthrow got under it and it sailed on him a little bit. Ah uh, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone one and two. Got him swinging chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That seven. elevated fastball. Every Chicago hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something the with catcher. that. But most Wilson. of the time, you get the result Contrera. that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. As he'll go after the first pitch and line one into right field for a base hit. Oh, and he misses it. Boy, Dero, the game of baseball has changed. There's so much velocity in the game. That, that was a 96-mile-an-hour fastball that he Giant. smoked the other way. Yeah, the you have stop. to keep your front shoulder Brandon. tucked right there. You have to Muffle. honor. When a guy's throwing that hard, 96 miles an hour, you have to honor that fastball and try and work it the other way to keep you on the off-speed. Here's the shortstop Brandon Crawford as the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Comes set with the 0 and 1 swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Contreras the runner at first with two gone inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two 34 pitches for him through an inning and two thirds right now that's not terrible but it's a lot higher than he'd like. Swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning. One left for the National Leaguers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Stepping up to the plate, J.D. Leading Martinez. Leading the American and League. And lead things off against the Max Scherzer. Hitter. J.D. Martinez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. Swing and oh my! Hit him with the high! Gone! Solo shot to right center as the AL strikes first. It's 1 to nothing. Last 
one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in the game. So the bases are clear now following the home Batty run. Fit. And next to Batty Bruh, be the outfielder, the Aaron York Judge. Yankees, the right fielder, Aaron Judge. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. There's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. Uh, the struggles continue, but that happens when you're not able to locate your secondary pitches and become a one-pitch pitcher. He needs to start to get those secondary pitches over really fast. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. One and two. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Outside and low that time, now it's two balls and two strikes. Well, I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was before that home run. Hey, this is a guy that can burn you again, so I don't really blame him. Full count now. The payoff pitch home. Swung on, and this one's driven in the air as well to deep right field. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge as the American League moves out in front here, two to nothing. start the inning talk about putting a pitcher on notice on the mound you almost have to completely forget about those and try to convince yourself you're starting the inning over fresh no one on no one out here's Manny Machado now past battles with Scherzer he's got three base Rubbed hits up. in and Diego 28 Padre. tries he also the has one stop. home run Manny Machado Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. one and now the 1 0. He is looked at for the first strike. Machado is one of the few true superstar hitters in the game. You're no doubt aware of it, but it doesn't matter who he's facing. He's a major league threat to hit the ball hard somewhere just about every time he steps into the box. Yeah, one of the best hitters and, and truly blessed by the gods, but I don't think people realize the amount of time and effort this guy has put into honing his craft to become one of the great hitters in our sport. Still one and two. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. All right, so here's how the National League All-Stars line up on D. And let's take a look at Javi Baez. I don't know, second base, shortstop, third, maybe a little outfield. Doesn't matter. This guy has platinum hands. Platinum, not gold. One of the best defenders in our sport and probably the quickest tag man in our game. So the base is empty here with one away and one of the more prolific RBI men in the league the last few years Jose Abreu will bat next. First offering on its way. Ball. Low for ball one. And a nope. fastball runs nice. a bit inside. He's down 2 0. Oh. Bases are empty, one man out. 
Outside, 3-0 and now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four-pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. Yeah. Three and one. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Down the third baseline. Arenado's got it. And that's the second out. Batting eight. From the Cleveland Indians, the third baseman, Jose Ramirez. In Jose Ramirez. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First pitch on its way. And it'll lay off fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1-0. Two and oh. Three and oh now. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. Scherzer gets the sign. Here it comes. Might have swung at ball four there. It's three and one. Hey, boys, you talk about getting your A swing off. That's what it looks like right there. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Got a full count. Three, two. The three, two pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Kemp is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. We played two full. It's a lead for the American League, two to nothing. Here's Javier Baez, and he'll start out their half of the third, for the third, top of the order to follow. The second hey, we're base. still in the early stages of this one. They're only Baez. down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Hard hit ball to second. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now batting, right fielder, Nick Markakis. Ready for another chance. Nick Markakis. He hit the ball hard but lined out to start the ball game. First pitch coming. Here it is. Grounded back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Now hard batting. single up Third the middle. Baseman. Yeah, watch your lips Nolan. right there, Dad. Set right, it back right. right where it came from. So a runner at first with one man gone. And in next, it'll be the perennial MVP candidate, third baseman Nolan Arenado. He's set and the pitch. One -oh. High and away on the first pitch fastball there. It's ball one. Now the 1 0 misses off nope. the plate. Okay. 
Markakis leads off first with one away. Ah. Two and one. There's a called strike on a changeup. Not a particularly good one. That changeup up in the zone like this oftentimes gets hit very hard. Was able to get away with it that time, but if he's going to be successful, he's going to need to get that changeup down in the zone around the knees. Just an absolute laser that time. Screaming the off the bat, if you three. will, and Showtrack right. tells us it went out at 112 Harper. miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. And now Bryce Harper, as he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Harper bats left but throws right and stands in at six foot three. Is playing up the middle and center field here, but most often he can be found in right. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. That swing tells me he now was that, really trying to get a pitch out foot and rip it down the line, but that wasn't Gold a great man. pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. In now, Paul Goldschmidt. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and oh. The 1-0 and oh delivery. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Back goes Betts at the track. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. National Leaguers strand a couple. They trail it here, 2 to nothing. So digging in now, Wilson Ramos Leading as we move for the on American to the bottom of inning number three. The catcher. One of the keys to Wilson. securing a win, they want to keep the Ramos. pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Here's the first pitch to him. Ah. And this pitch is right down the middle, strike one. And he takes strike two. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. Now he had to stare down no a really fielder. good hitter. And instead Smokey. of working around the zone, he Bet. challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Standing in now, Mookie Betts. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. The 1 0 is laid off for ball two. Two and one now to Mookie. I got two on the count. One out, nobody on. No, ball three. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3-1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. I got and it's up to a 3-2 full count now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So so now we've got a battle on our hands. Into the windup ready with the payoff pitch and that's low ball four. Now batting second baseman Jose. Digging in to try it again. Jose Altuve. He was a strikeout victim in his first try.
First pitch coming. Here it is. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Runners on the move for second. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. But this will land untouched. Bets a runner at first with one gun in the inning. One and two now. Scherzer will check it oh, first. Right. Back in standing. The one two swing and a flare hit toward right. Marquez is coming on and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Now batting center fielder Mike Trout. Here's the center fielder Mike Trout. And if you remember he took home a silver slugger award for AL outfielders a year ago. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch hack in here and that's the first strike. Ready with the 0 1. Sets the target low here and it misses 1 and 1. The 1 1 home is a slider that misses below the zone. Well, it's 2 and 1 now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Now a throw over. Line towards center field. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. And he will make it around as he gets in now there at third the on what was a hitter. terrible throw. JD. No mistake what he was sitting on. Mark Fastball middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. Here's J.D. Martinez as he'll take a look at ball one. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. -oh. The short hit hard. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. We'll see Freddie Freeman start things off when we return. Three innings complete. The AL leads it two to nothing. Digging in for his second at bat, Freddie Freeman. Leading off things for the not looking win. very good so far the in this one, but we're still in the five. middle innings. They're down by Freddie a couple of runs, Freeman. and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. 
And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. The 1 0 home is looked at off the plate for a ball. Now the 2 0 home. And it's fouled away. That's He's three. fallen behind now, three and one. Great A B so far. I'd really like to see this guy work a walk and get on base for this team. Maybe give them a shot of confidence that they got a shot to get back in this one. Skied into straightaway right. Judges under it. One down. Now batting left fielder Matt Kemp. So the bases are empty with one man gone and stepping forth is the left fielder Matt Kemp. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Good fastball down around the knees there, oh, taken for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he misses with it, 1 and 1. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Ball and two strikes now. This guy has been throwing the ball so well, and that's exactly why. He has such a feel for that secondary pitch. He can flip it over whenever he wants and get back in the count. The one-two is looked at for ball number two. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Another strikeout for him on the mound. The catcher, and boy, is it 40. fun to watch him go Wilson. about his business. Uh, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Oh, and that misses inside 1-0. and oh. One for one after a single his first time up. Here it comes, 1 0. Ball 2 0 oh now. Two ball, no strike. No runs, three hits, and no errors on the NL line score thus far. Outside, 3 0 oh now. Yeah, he's all over the place right now. No doubt, he's clearly fighting his mechanics. Three zero pitch is laid off, but in there for strike one. Hey, that three zero pitch might have been important for him right there. Regroup, get his mechanics back under him, and drive something down through the strike zone. Wouldn't throw the exact same pitch right here. Might want to cheat towards one of the corners. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. Well, they've been unable to get to this guy, the so they'll take base 35. runners any way Short they can get him. At the very Brandon. least, you make him work from the stretch and add to his pitch total. Digging in, Brandon Crawford. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Now a change up in on the hands that evens it at one and one. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Contreras leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. 
And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. NL leaves one. They're still down. It's two nothing. Here's big Aaron Judge. He's set to lead us for off the, in the American home League. Half of the fourth inning. The right field. Yeah, this last that Aaron. change up out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this AD to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. Slider laid off for the ball. Popped him up. Crawford is in his tracks now. One down. The batter so number 13. Let's punch Short up the graphic stop. and show you the Manny. pitch speed comparison for the two starters Machado. here in the fourth inning. And boy, you can see it there. A couple of power arms out there as both of these guys are working in the high 90s. So one away here with the bases empty. And standing in now, the always dangerous third baseman, Manny Machado. First pitch of the at bat. That one catches the edge of the zone called a strike. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch? It's 0 2 now. Ugly swing right there. That pitch wasn't even close. You could tell this guy's been in the swing mode from the minute he walked into the batter's box. Nope. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. Hit hard to short. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Now batting, first baseman, Jose Abreu. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jose Abreu. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First offering on its way. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. He just ramps up and gears the fastball by him. 0-2. Hey, this boy ain't messing around right now. Attacking his zone, showing a lot of confidence in his... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. American League goes down in order, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Grounding out in his the only trip to the plate so far. Javier Baez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Aye. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Ball Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone-cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box, no doubt about it. Ready to deliver the one and two. Ball. Low with a fastball that time. Two balls and two strikes. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump now right batting. there. He's got a right shutout fielder. going, and he really Nick. seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. 
Ready for another shot now. Nick Markakis. He singled his last time up. First pitch coming. Here it is. This is swung on and hit to Altuve at second. On to first, oh. and Markakis is retired two away. Up next for the National League, the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. So bases are empty here with two gone. And in next, it'll be the perennial MVP candidate, third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh. And he lays off there, 1-0. Hey, two outs, nobody on, and a power hitter up. This is where, as a pitcher, you got to use the hitter's aggression against them. Get him to fish a little bit. Something a little more out of the zone than normal. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. I know there's two outs right here, but your job is the number two hole hitter, especially with the monsters hitting behind you. Find a way to get on base. Maybe a little two out lightning on the horizon. Now the one and one pitch. Is swung on one and missed, and that's strike two. Hey, this guy is one strike away from absolutely cruising through the first five innings. No need to even warm up the bullpen the way this guy's pounding the zone. Oh, uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. All even at two and two. Here it is. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Well, he gives the up the fielder, walk, but that was three. a really good pitch. Right. Might have been just Harper. out of the zone, but not by much. A lot of guys would have gone fishing for that pitch. So sometimes the hitter just outlasts you. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. From the belt, kicks and deals. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. There's a cold strike on a fastball up in the zone. We're seeing more of that from pitchers nowadays with the launch angles. Guys are looking for the ball down in the zone. If a pitcher can pitch up in the zone like that pitch right there, you can go ahead and make some hay. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient, and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. Ah. Two and two. Popped him up. Machado shading to his right and that ends the inning one left for the National Leaguers they trail things here two to nothing into the box Jose Ramirez oh for one for, for him the American one. League the third baseman Jose First Ramirez pitch on his way. Fastball off the plate, off the plate away. It's ball one. Might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. 